And Tim or, had or mentioned the payroll tax, the possibility of one. Let's get to what could be uh, the possibility of a payroll tax. President Trump actually talking about it just a short time ago. Eamon Javers at the White House with all the details. Very confusing um, out <laughs> of the White House, me. Eamon. I, have no, I don't know where anything stands. All right, so honest. we're following the bouncing ball on this. Yesterday, the Washington Post re uh, reported that they were discussing the idea of a new payroll tax cut here at the White House. The White House comms team put out a statement from a White House official uh, later in the day saying, uh, no, 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 that's not under discussion at this time downplaying the story. Well, the president today clearly decided he wanted to upplay the story uh, and talked about it uh, at the Oval Office, also talking about the idea of indexing capital gains, which is something that's been kicked around for a while, but the president says he's into that idea as well. None of this, he says, is because of fear of a recession. These are just ideas that they think are good ideas and want to move forward on. Here's what the president said today as we follow this story. A lot of people have been talking about indexing for many years, uh, and it's something that I am certainly thinking about. I can say that a majority of the people in the White House uh, at the level that does this kind of thing, they like indexing. So it is something I'm thinking about. Payroll taxes, I've been thinking about payroll taxes for a long time. Whether or not we do it now or not is, uh, uh, it's not being done because of recession. So the president's saying he is considering a payroll tax cut, but maybe not right now. He's also, he likes the idea of indexing, as you heard there. Interestingly, the president also, Melissa, said that he believes he can do an indexing change unilaterally, that is, without Congress. He said that he believes he can do it on his own, indexing capital gains, tax rates to inflation. That's something that conservative anti-tax uh, activists have wanted for a long time. Uh, that's a controversial idea. A lot of folks in Washington are skeptical that you can do it without Congress. I just got off the phone with Grover Norquist, the powerful anti-tax activist here in town. He said he believes, and he's been evangelizing at the White House, that the president can simply order the Treasury Secretary to tell the IRS to change the definition of cost in its regulations. And if they do that, they can have this change done overnight. It would be a huge sweeping change uh, to tax law and very controversial on Capitol Hill, I'm sure. So he can do that uh, on his own with the presidential powers, but for a payroll tax change, that would have to go through Congress. It's interesting because the president argues there is no recession, yet there's a need to do this. The Democrats will say the economy is OK. We don't want to do this, even though Obama did it a few years ago. Um, for a period of two years, lower the payroll tax to four plus percent. And President so Obama did it for a stimulus in the right. time of recession. Exactly. Right? Yeah. But but what are the chances of getting congressional approval of that? I mean, I think zero. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's just no way the Democrats on Capitol Hill who control the House, uh, where the House Ways and Means Committee is, which writes tax law, uh, you know, they're just not going to give the president a big win on anything going into 2020. So I think the chances of that happening are probably zero or south of zero. Uh, if you can be south of zero. And I think uh, on the other front, this argument that the president can unilaterally change ca the capital gains rate by indexing to inflation, this is an argument that the Grover Norquist has been making publicly and has been making inside the White House to a lot of, he told me he's spoken to everybody at the White House uh, except the president of the United States about this uh, and gotten a lot of good push, a lot of good feedback. And he feels like it's something this White House is about to do uh, any day now. Uh, that's going to be controversial. There are people in town who argue that that's just not possible under the law. All right. Eamon, thank you. Eamon you Javers covering the White House for us. Um, what would be a bigger boost, if, if you could have either, what would be the bigger boost to the economy, in your view? Clarity. <laughs> about what's going on, that would be the bigger boost. Would you rather? That's my would you rather clarity this, or clarity, right? Brian? Are, well, are we getting tariffs? Are we getting a payroll tax cut? Are we indexing capital gains? What do I do? You know, what, what's going on? My takeaway from this is that the Trump administration is looking for ways to have the tariff and the trade war go on longer than most people are anticipating, as Guy has said, for over a year now. And these are ways to offset it so you don't have a recession going into the election. And I think that's the only takeaway. Other than that, I don't know how you make a well, decision what, on this type of chaos. But how does it change your current decision not knowing what the clarity is between a payroll tax reduction and index and capital gains? Well, or, or I mean, tariffs. Really, really. Well, we don't get a payroll tax deduction. I understand, yeah. I understand the point of uncertainty certainty and wanting clarity, but in terms of making an investment decision. It's just posturing. Look, this is, it, this is a, if this is all we have, this is very, very flimsy, okay? This isn't going to do anything. You take, payroll tax is coming from saved, not spent uh, income, as far as I'm concerned. This isn't going to drive some kind of a spending, and it didn't work for Obama. So it, the best thing they can do is get rid of the tariffs. That, that, to me, is what we have to do. And if we don't like Huawei and ZTE, let's go after them. 
But that's not what this is all about. And, and I think, again, payroll tax to me for a, an administration that's telling us how strong the economy is over and over again makes zero sense.